Hey everyone, welcome back to the second video of my Minecraft Survival Let's Play. Um, in the last video, if you haven't seen that, we really just kind of got started, but... Um, so, what I said I would do in between episodes is I'd find a place that I wanted to live, and mm -hmm. I think I have just about done that. So, and there is a fire, I need to go st stop that. So, uh, before I do that, there is a jungle here, got a nice spruce forest, I mean a birch forest, and snowy mountains if you can just see right up there so i think this is a pretty cool place to live i don't know exactly if it's going to be like where i'm standing specifically but in this vicinity is definitely where i want to live so this episode is just going to be focused on getting the materials i want to get and possibly having a start on our house now i need to make sure that this isn't spreading too much it should be okay we'll just go on and knock down this tree just in case I, it's not connected to any of the other ones so it's it's fine a little burning doesn't hurt anyone unless it actually hurts you that would mean you'd have to get burnt but anyway that's a whole different story we're not trees but we love trees so this jungle i'm surprised i found a jungle before a village or any generated structure that is jungles are rare i remember on my bedrock on a bedrock um server not server uh survival world i had it took me days like real life days of just running to find a jungle but we found one here so yeah it's cool i mean this whole view is insane look at that mountain look at all this stuff it's really cool and how's this oh these are on fire too how did this one get okay i i need to make sure this doesn't spread any more than it already has we'll go ahead and manage this fire come on don't burn down the trees stop stop no I, I don't need to see any more of this there's enough of this in Australia already and I'm burning myself okay come on get in the water there we go so let's go ahead and get some materials for where we want to live now I think up here I think this is a pretty cool place I think that's really nice actually um, it's in between the jungle and the birch forest. I think it's all really nice. All of this terrain right here. But this is, like, in the middle of the water. That's pretty cool. Like, I don't know. Um, I mean, especially with this version, the updated versions, the terrain is insane, right? But I really don't know how much cool terrain you can get without, like, getting a seed from YouTube or something. So, yeah, I'm definitely happy with what I've got. So, we'll get up here. And this can be the beginning. <laughs> I don't know. We'll just we'll just see how it goes. Oh, this is cool. It kind of wraps around a little bit. And there's a little chunk of island there. This is nice. Got a pretty cool view of all these um, things, you know. So let's let's start building our house. Now, I first of all need to find a place to put my stuff. Actually, we'll just go to sleep first because I don't want a monster um, sneak up behind me whilst I'm trying to do stuff because that happens too much. So, um, we'll go up here. Let's go up on this thing here. And there's an. Oh, wow. I'm pretty sure when you dig underneath the azalea trees, you get a. What's it called? A lush cave? I think that's what it's called. So that's really cool. I hope to find one of those eventually. Um, because those materials in there are absolutely beautiful. They're so just um, needed for Minecraft, really. Just if you like to make your environment look nice in game. Really, if you want to make your environment look nice, live in a jungle. Because the grass is always greener. Um, so that's, that's my advice. But, you know, I think this is a really cool place. And I think I want to get settled in this area so we'll go ahead and um let's just chuck my stuff down here for now we'll grab the crafting table and we'll grab the furnace we'll put that there uh let's put the coal in and let's make ourselves a chest real quick so we can use this and just put all of our random crap in here just all the flowers that i at this moment do not need um that should be fun we'll go ahead and cook the food as well now there's a couple things i want to gather so i want to grab the spruce wood which is up there i want to grab oak wood which 
we can find oak wood. There's plenty of oak trees there in the jungle. And then I want to grab sand for glass. So that's um, my idea. I kind of had a little idea of what I want my bedroom to look like in another survival world, um, which I started before this. So I'm just going to do something with that, right? So, you know, something similar at least. So, okay, what we need to do is we need to grab the cobblestone. I don't have any more cobblestone. Okay, that's fine. We'll go ahead and just bring our crafting table with us then. And let's go to get the spruce. <gasps> oh my gosh, <laughs> I almost took damage there. Now this is really cool, this stuff. All around here is really cool. It's gonna go for a little swim in the water. Very nice and flat. There's no waves. The music's very nice too. Sugarcane. I could use this eventually. I love making massive sugarcane farms for no reason at all. My friends and I would just... I mean, originally it was for enchantment table, like for books, right? To make um, bookshelves, which is great for decoration, but enchantment tables um, predominantly. But <laughs> we just have farms full of that stuff um because why not we just you know i don't even know i've never even seen sugar cane in real life before which is quite sad um i i'm sure i've seen it but i've never noticed it i've never paid attention because i mean growing up i was always like oh that's a minecraft thing but everything in Minecraft is real unless it's like the nether. Then I don't know what kind of... The original stuff at least. I mean, there's a bunny. See, bunnies are real. Sheeps are real. Sheep. Uh, and I hate these biomes, man. They're so stingy because they just... Uh, I, look, I love the biome. Don't get me wrong, but I hate the snow falling thing where is it the bucketed snow stuff oh my goodness i cannot deal with it the pure pain and stress i have exploring these snow biomes just in fear of being suffocated and hypothermia just engulfing my body is it's not fun i mean sure it's fun but it's not what you want when you're just playing minecraft you just want to do your thing you know just want to do your thing so let's grab uh let's grab the wood grab this tree as well um this this video is also recorded just right after my first one i'm probably going to get like a bunch done um at once and i'm just going to see what you all think of it um and just see if people want to watch. I mean, I don't really mind, again, as I said in the first video, I don't mind if people don't watch this because it's not my main... My priority f for this series isn't an audience. I, w I would love to talk to you guys, but... Um, see, look, this is what I'm talking about. <laughs> see, it sinks you. It sinks you. My main priority with this series is just to... I, I'm sorry. I, I can't finish my sentence until I stop getting frozen to death. The... um. The main idea is just to have fun and to do something that not really anyone has done in a long time on YouTube. Everyone has got, they've either got these survival worlds that are very, um, just very automated. They're not very focused on how their world looks and they just kind of, oh my gosh, they just want to play the game and kind of speed run and get as much done as they can. But I haven't seen anyone in a very long time just take it as it is and just enjoy the gameplay you know enjoy what they're what seed they're on and just working around with what they've got and just kind of taking the time to just play minecraft you know not to rush anything because that's always what i like about games i've always never really enjoyed um just grinding a game and just stopping it you know like I, like, I, what I would do, usually, is I would just load up a server with my friends, I'd just play survival, and I'd play a bunch, and then, a few weeks later, you stop for a long time, and that world is never to be seen again, but I want a world that, a world that I can, um, progressively progress, essentially, you know, that I don't have to spend, um, 
hours and hours getting the best resources and just make my world something that feels like a community and feels like a world that I can just log on to and really enjoy what I'm playing. You know, I don't want to take the fun out of this because that's what Minecraft should be or any game should be. It should be fun. And I also, I just, I don't know. I feel like I, I, I could really talk about anything. I'm quite a controversial person outside of um, YouTube. So I could really talk about any topic that interests me um, in videos. If anyone is watching this and you have any suggestions or anything you'd like me to discuss, feel free to let me know because I definitely am very open to discussing whatever it is that may you know, tickle my fancy. Haven't used that phrase in a long time. Um, no, I need probably... I don't know how much more spruce I need. But I'll grab a little bit more. I don't want to, you know, end up being short on spruce. Because if I if I am, then I have to come all the way back up here. Which is going to be a pain. Having to deal with all those potholes again. Those invisible potholes. But that's snow idea. Right? The idea of that sinking snow. I forgot what it's called. Powdered snow. That's what it is. It's clever if you put, say, um, one block... And then you like break underneath it. You can have like a secret base in there. I mean, sure, you'll get like frozen every single time you enter and leave your house, but no one will know where it is unless you have name tags on, which I don't think you can turn those off on Java Edition unless you do something with commands. Um, I remember that was another great thing about Console Edition. There was much more of a, um, I don't know. Like, you could, the option to be able to turn name tags on and off was really nice. Because then, you know, people, you know, they can, you can... There's so much more opportunities with that. You know, you can play many different games and all that stuff. Like, hide and seek and stuff. Like, you can do it in um, this. But the way to do it is quite complicated from what I remember. It's not just go flick a switch and they're, they're gone, you know? From what I remember, you have to kind of do a command and then, you know, there's a few things that come after that. So, okay, we got a stack and a half of um, spruce logs. That should be good for now. If I need to get more, I'll just come back um, in between episodes. Now, we need snow. And then we need to get oak wood and then we can begin the house. So, how much snow should we grab? Enough. We'll need enough. Um, just keep making as many as possible there we go 24 that's not enough <laughs> maybe two stacks but snow is a lot easier to gather because it's so much faster and you get four snowballs per block you break i believe about um so you can break the top of those but if you want efficiency just break the blocks they're newer they never used to have the blocks down there so that's what i'm gonna do um okay uh, I, I, I probably want about a stack and a half of snowballs, I would say. I think that's probably... Oh, okay. Okay, that, that's probably how much I'd want. A stack and a half of snowballs. Can I... Can I, like, get... No, I can't. I can't, like... Oh, my gosh. What have I done? See, the controls are a little bit different to the Xbox version because there's a few things that you weren't able to do in... Um... What do you call it? Oh, uh, console edition, which you are now. Um, so, I used to have B is drop, but it's not. It's I have to press the down arrow to do that, which is fine, I guess. But All right, it's turning night, which is not good. I should have brought my bed, but I didn't think I was going to be here that long. But, you know, of course, I'm getting sidetracked. But actually, no, I wasn't that much. I'm just... I don't know, time's flying or something. Something's going on. So, um, okay, how much we got now? Uh, come on, just, I have to spam the button. There we go. There we go. Yeah, 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 yeah. Give me, give me, give me, give me a snow after midnight. Okay, uh, that should be enough for now. Let's head back. Um, we can grab these spruce saplings too, which is good. Now, which way do we need to go? It was this way i believe we just circle the whole thing because i know it was obviously near a jungle but there was birch island yeah here it is this is it oh hello skeleton 
Jack Skellington, do not do this to me. Look, before you die, I'm sure we were lovers, alright? So, don't need to hurt me. <laughs> okay, well, my... Oh, oh, okay, right. See, this is what I'm talking about. You don't want to die in those things. Very sneaky. They put the ice textures around to make you feel cold. Like, thanks, Minecraft. I knew I was freezing, but I just had to know just even more that, like, you know, my heart go blue and... Oh, great. Oh, great. Okay, I know what I need to do. I can hear several skeletons behind me. I need to just take a dive. Like this. Oh, oh, oh. Mm. Let's just take a dive. Woo! There we go. See? Easy. Now I need to swim. And I hear a trident. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. <sighs> Where did I spawn? <sighs> We are going to, I am going to spend in between next episode and this one finding my base and going back and getting a bit of a start in the house. So in between episodes, that's what I'm going to do. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the third episode. Bye-bye.